Hey, how's it going? I'm Dan Frampton. I make content on the internet about punk rock music. And today I'm making content about other people that make content on the internet about punk rock music. Today we're going to go through a list of my issues that I have with punk rock influencers. Now, you don't think that those words normally go together, punk rock influencers? And you might be right, you might be onto something, but we're gonna take a look at some people that spiked their hair. We're gonna take a look at some mohawks. We're gonna take a look at some studded jackets, and we're gonna take a look at these people's profiles and just determine what the problem is with these punk rock influencers, okay? So, before we get going, has it bet you'd like this video, comment, and do all those things that, you know, YouTube enjoys that you do. I also enjoy it too. It's not just a YouTube thing. You know, most people are like, hey, it helps the video, and didn't do the thing for the algorithm. No, do the thing for me, okay? Make me feel nice and happy uh, by liking and subscribing to the, to the channel, okay? You can also join the channel, become a member of the Secret Society. All right, all that out of the way, let's talk about our first influencer. Now when I think of people that spike their hair and do the whole punk rock as an image thing, I think of this lady over here. This lady, her name is Erin Micklow, okay? Now she goes on here with her leather jackets and her big Liberty spikes, you know what I mean? She goes on her little vacations and she likes to document all that sort of stuff in like little tiny bikinis and that kind of thing. And if that's your kind of thing, then that's your kind of thing, I guess. But she's kind of just like an attention vampire, kind of like a vacuum in the punk rock world I see her as. And I don't know if that's uh, necessarily disrespectful to say, but I think what she does is kind of annoying. I think when she interviews people she doesn't really ask like the questions that people want the answers to she's just kind of like a vapid airbag you know what I mean and if you're like oh, hey man I like vapid airbags with big spiky hair then that's cool dude go like Aaron Micklow she's she's gonna create the content for you and that's totally cool but you know what I mean she's I can't really show all of her uh, profile here because it gets pretty saucy it gets pretty pretty spicy as we scroll up you know what I mean she starts to take more more and more clothes off the more recent we get but you know what I mean she like goes to shows she finds people in bands she dresses like she's like uh, like a big punk rock edgy chick or whatever and she likes to interview them she's like oh man I know who the misfits are here's me with some fits the content seems to have moved from these kind of YouTube interviews with punk rock bands to kind of more like this uh, saucy OnlyFans type stuff. But you know, oh, get that bag, girl. That's that's cool. Do what you want to do. But I don't really know if you make a lot of interesting content that's going to be for, for me, okay? I think that this stuff is very annoying. You're just kind of like a valley girl that looks like a punk rocker just trying try to get attention on the internet. And hey, we're all trying to get attention on the internet. I'm not trying to point and laugh at you being like, hey, look at this girl trying to get attention because that would be rather hypocritical from a guy with a YouTube channel, you know what I mean? Also doing sort of the similar stuff and you have sort of similar criticisms against me or whatever. Now she's one of the first punk rock influencers that I got privy to in the modern era. Now back in the day, early 2000s, you know what I mean? There were punk rock influencers all over the place. But to be in like the 2020s and have punk rock people out here on the internet. Now the next influencer I wanna talk about, it's gonna be the second time I talk about this guy. This guy's name is Zombie Punk. Now this guy takes all the things that Aaron Micklow was doing for attention and just cranks it up to a million. But I'm not here to complain about it, you know what I mean? He does go all the way out there. He lives the gimmick, so much so that his whole face is tattooed like half of a skeleton, all right? He's got all these spikes coming out of his face and he just like does these little like anarchy signs on the back of people's jackets or whatever. Uh, in Camden, England or whatever. I don't know what that is. I think it's a, like a place in London. <laughs> Camden? Camden? Whatever, you know? But here he is, giving the horns, and apparently this guy's a bit of a menace on the streets. I bet you can just take one look at this dude and be like, yeah, this guy causes trouble for people walking past him. And yeah, a lot of people have said a lot of things about this guy on the internet. A lot of people have like documented this guy from afar, being kind of a jerk to other people. But that's not really a surprise. Look at this guy. You're not gonna take a look at this guy and being like, he's a nice little polite English boy, all right? Nah, this guy's kind of a jerk and he's doing all of this sort of stuff. Definitely, 100% in the name of image, in the name of vanity, in the name of clicks, likes, and clout, okay? But again, I'm not saying that as a criticism. I'm saying that as a way to say that this guy's killing it, okay? This guy's literally killing it. Is he creating the kind of content that I'm coming to every day on the internet? 
Probably not. You know what I mean? Up the punks. Not going to be the kind of stuff that like is filling my feet or whatever. He's just cartoonishly punk rock, like a parody of it. So much so that he's selling his services to be a punk rock looking guy in your photos. You know what I mean? He's just like a tourist attraction and he plays up to it. You know what I mean? He, he, he looks for people that be like, hey, this guy would, would think that I'm interesting. I can get a couple dollars out of him. So he's kind of a grifter in a little bit of a way. And he's kind of a carny in a little bit of a way. And he's kind of a cosplayer in a little bit of a way. But like to the absolute 10th degree okay this guy is living it times a hundred but we're gonna be moving on to the next guy now I don't really have a lot of bad things to say about Mohawk Bob here he's just out here doing a different Mohawk every day now there's not really a whole lot punk rock about this guy other than the fact that he rocks the Mohawk now the Mohawk is a very punk rock hairstyle all right now he's out there he's got like a very like thick Louisiana like style drawl you know what I mean Mohawk Bob here and you don't really expect a guy to sound like that that has a big Mohawk but that but that's my bias you know what I mean that's on me and that's my fault as, a, as an internet user and as a human being. I gotta go into that with more of an open mind. You learn not to judge a book by the cover in like early days, you know what I mean? So that's, that's on me, Mohawk Bob here, kinda rules. And he goes out there, and you can kinda say this about Mohawk Bob, he kinda tries to like backpack on other famous people, but that's another thing that I can't criticize. I'm out here talking about accounts that are bigger than me. I'm doing exactly what he's doing, all right? But the criticisms that you could throw at him are the same that you kind of throw at me so I can't say oh man you're just putting Snoop Dogg's little stencil in your hair to get Snoop Dogg's attention yeah that's fine that's a good tactic that's smart good job and he's committed to it person after person band after band act team <laughs> ticket tone like just brands anything that you could slap on a mohawk he's slapping on a mohawk which is kind of anti-punk rock while also being so punk rock in the world. You know what I mean? He's out here being like, this is DIY. I'm out here with my Instagram profile. I'm getting that bag. You know, people are paying me to put like their name on my mohawk at this point. And I don't know if that's true. I'm kind of making that part up. Maybe they're not paying him. Something tells me that no one is. This seems like this is like a passion project of his. And something that I've always found so interesting about Mohawk Bob here is that you see how his mohawks are like curved? But like the logos aren't curved. It's just like a it's like a straight stencil that goes across this curved hairstyle, which I think is very funny. I think that is hilarious. Aesthetically speaking, the artist's mind is gonna want to make it curve with it. But the fact that it's just like spray painted on there straight just makes it amazing. Just cranks it up a whole bunch of extra levels. That was a bunch of punk rock influencers that I have a problem with, and I gotta talk about the punk rock influencers that are killing it right now. Now this is gonna be the first time that I mentioned this channel, these guys, on this channel, because they are absolutely killing it. They are making the best content in the punk rock sphere right now, and they're kinda like branching outside of punk rock a little bit and growing exponentially. If you know who I'm talking about, you know I'm talking about the boys over at Neo Punk FM. These guys bring a whole new meaning to post-meta irony, okay? I don't know what they're doing is real. I don't know if they care about what they're doing. I don't know if what's real or what's fake or what's what's what to believe with these guys, you know what I'm saying? But that's the whole kind of thing with these folks over here. Here they are wearing their own mer merchandise, all right? Now these guys are, are they're like terminally online Zoomers is the whole thing, all right? So you got this like touch grass like new metal type shirt over here. And then you got a sauna chew shirt over here. So they're very online. They want you to know that these boys are online. These guys are on the spectrum, all right? These guys have a fascination with punk rock music and also with the alternative lifestyle, all right? They make very cool videos all over the place, all right? Sometimes they'll go to, they'll go to concerts and be like, hey, fans of this band, tell me about a thing. And then most of the time, Here's what they do, all right? They'll sit down very uncomfortably in front of a camera talking into a phone. Now, the whole post-meta irony thing is, I don't know if they're actually talking into the phone or not anymore because they're very successful, you know what I mean? They don't need to be using their phone as, as a microphone, you know what I mean? So so are they just doing that as, as like a post-meta irony thing to to because it's supposed to look bad and and, and but there's, there's there's a real microphone that they're using somewhere? I don't know. I don't want I don't want to know the secret sauce of the Neo Punk FM. They are too past 
Neo, they are way too past post-modern irony for me to even care about it at this point. Here they are cranking a little uh, whiz-tastic on their 100 play button, 100,000 play button. You know what I'm saying? So these guys are just killing it in all sorts of ways. Here's a little meme that they made. You know what I mean? Breaking. Drain Singer, low-key looks like dude from Glee. Go follow them if you want, you know. They don't need my endorsement by any stretch of the imagination. But I had to show you some problems with these people. All right, some problems, some absolute issues I've had with a bunch of internet punk rock content creators. But in order to show you the disgusting depravity of all these losers, I had to show you our knights in shining armor over here at Neo Punk FM holding it down. Whoa, I didn't even think I was gonna get two minutes out of this video and I talked for a whole bunch. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell if you're cool as hell. Watch these other videos over here and until my next upload, you can watch another upload. All right, see you later.